Hi, I'm Dr. Lydia Knudsen, developer of Axial Stability Method, an emerging chiropractic approach to human biomechanics. In this series of videos, I'll be highlighting some of the ways in which Axial Stability Method can benefit children. So let's start by talking about development. I love talking about development. Development is this magical thing that happens for all biological systems fruit flies, puppies, and apple trees. It is the inexorable unfolding of a pre-programmed design, like a blueprint for life, that has its most action-packed period at the beginning. For humans, a species with a very long developmental period, the first seven years are especially intense. During the first year or so, the star player is the motor system. We learn how to roll over, sit up, stand up, and then walk. We learn how to bring food to our mouths, point and reach for objects. This is an incredible explosion of highly complex development. So how do we learn all this in just one year? The short story is reflexes, infant reflexes. We all have them and they're all the same person to person. This is why infants look very similar in their movements. And in fact, when they come up with a unique movement, for instance, a child that scooches along on their butt instead of crawling, this is an indication that something is wrong. So reflexes are a hardwired set of movements, and there are hundreds of them, that propel us through pre-programmed movement sequences. No one needs to teach a newborn to breathe, suck, or swallow. That knowledge is built into the brain-body system. I'm sure you've heard of many of these reflexes. The startle reflex, the gag reflex, grasp reflex, and then there are fancier names like Babinski, Morrow, and the asymmetric tonic neck reflex. These pre-programmed movements act as a kind of alphabet of movement. They are building blocks that get activated on a predetermined schedule practiced over and over, and then integrated into the deep neural networks of the brain, where they form the foundation for more complex, voluntary, creative movement. These reflexes, by the way, remain available to us for the rest of our lives as a deep reservoir for survival under stress. They help us in survival situations, suddenly stepping back from a curb to avoid an oncoming car, grabbing for the banister, that's the grasp reflex, when we slip on the stairs. Babies and children are movement machines. They move because they are practicing their movement alphabet, an alphabet that builds their brains and remains an important part of their survival system throughout life. So how does this brain building actually work? Check out my video about the sensory motor system and the development of that.